Sophie Smith has been to meet a forward who believes she has what it takes to make the cut. Leanne Sanderson's flamboyant style is reflected in her career on the pitch. 46 England caps, 15 international goals, five Women's Premier League titles and four FA Cup triumphs. A testament to her swashbuckling spirit. She's very nice, very friendly. When she comes here, we always have a laugh. <laughs> She's a very good tipper. We haven't done today. What's going on here? Are you going to do a little pattern on the right hand side? Is your flamboyant style reflected in your football, do you think? Um, I think so. I mean, I've been quite lucky that I grew up in a family where um, I've been allowed to be an individual and be myself and kind of have an opinion, have a voice, and I kind of try and just be me, really. And I don't really copy anybody, I just be me. And I like to show my personality through my kind of dress sense and my hair. Jill's got always just, you always used to say, you have to have a nice face to have a short haircut, <laughs> so I take it as a compliment. After 13 years at Arsenal and Chelsea, how have moves abroad to the States, Cyprus and Spain shaped her? I think I've grown up. And obviously, I went to America when I was 21, 22, and I'm now 27. So I think by stepping out your comfort zone and putting yourself in amongst the situation, I think you can, it's amazing how much you can learn. And I think for me, that's what's made me grow up so quickly. <laughs> Leanne's performances and colourful style caught the eye of England boss Mark Sampson, prompting a recall to the international setup. I never once doubted that I would be back again, but at times it was hard because it did feel like I wouldn't really get the opportunity again because as long as that staff was involved with England, I didn't feel like I'd get the opportunity. So I was over the moon when Mark obviously got the job. I had a, a text message from somebody else to say, would I be open to speaking to Mark? And I was like, are you kidding? And I was like, of course I can. I didn't know how it was going to go. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. And as soon as I, I couldn't sleep, especially the night before he was calling, I was like, kept checking my watch. And he actually called me a, a, about half an hour late because of the time difference and whatever. But I was just thinking, when's he going to call? When's he going to call? And then, honestly, we spoke for about half an hour and I was thinking, I want to play for this guy. With, even if I don't start, even if I'm on the bench, even if I'm not in the squad, I still feel appreciated. <laughs> So we having a new style for the World Cup, maybe? If selected. If selected, <laughs> um, I was thinking about um, going darker. What would it take for England to win the World Cup? I think it's a lot to do with mentality. I think a lot of the, the Americans, the Germans, I don't necessarily think they're that much better than us, but I think from playing in America and living there for five years, I can definitely say their mentality is different. I mean, it's win at all costs, and it's a process, and it's kind of, we grow great together. In England, I feel like we've got a good unit of forwards now that do help each other. How much are you helping? How much am I helping my fellow forwards? Like, how much am I helping Annie? How much am I helping Jody, Jess, and whoever may be there to be at their best? I think everybody that's going to be selected, we're obviously going there to do big things and hopefully we can do that. Kaylee, what do you think? Yep, perfect as always. Is that good? Yep. Let's try this side. Well done too. Yes. It's an art actually. Having it is an art. It looks good. Yep, I, mean, always I think I'll have mine done now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sue Smith had already had her hair done. Look at that. She's had a few before, hasn't she? A few of those bonnets. Well, that might be an Andre Agassi look that wasn't necessarily her own doing. I don't know. What about that? But you know uh, Leanne Sanderson from your time at Arsenal. Can you understand why she came back to this country? Was that a good move for her? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, travelling back and forth for, for England camps from America has obviously taken its toll um, to be seen week in, week out um, at Arsenal for England selection as well and the World Cup coming up. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a big decision for her to come back home obviously her family are here as well so um yeah i think it's based on selection for world cup and to be seen by by mark sampson week in week out really mm. so a bit more competition for you two then yeah, tell me yeah. there's a lot of it isn't there yeah there is a lot um it's fierce competition throughout and as a center forward you need to be confident that you're up there with the best strikers in england and in the world and you know we all bring something different to the table we've got some of us are hold up players we've got pace we've got skill so it's exciting and and that's what you want you know so whoever he picks so have a good forward line going to that World Cup. Well, that's for sure. There's a lot of strength and depth in the forward areas. Let's have a look at some of the options open to Mark Sampson. A lot of, a lot of pace in some areas. You've got a, a lot of power and uh, players playing abroad. You've got the likes of Jodie Taylor. That she's not necessarily starting for her new club. Yeah, there's, there's so many different... Um, combinations you could have as well in a forward line. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's obviously some big decisions, but it's all based on club form now, really. Mm -hmm. Do you fancy your chances? 
Yeah, I mean, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm a confident centre forward. I haven't been involved in Mark's last few trips, but I'm performing well and playing 90 minutes week in, week out for Liverpool, so I'd love to be on the plane. And I'm quite sure that Mark Sams would love to have that strength and depth in a defensive capacity. But he's got